Hey YouTubers, it's Arthur from the Vault Pro Scooters and today we're going to be talking about ICS compression. ICS compression is one of the five compression systems out on the market and uh, we're going to be just getting into it a little bit more in terms of how it works and what's compatible and what's needed for it. So um, ICS is pretty much in my opinion a step above uh, threaded compression which is threaded compression is like a, it's the most simplest compression out on the market. ICS is like right above that. Then um, it goes IHC, HIC, and then SCS, in my opinion at least. Others might have different views on that. Um, definitely have to let, let everyone know that it's just in my opinion. That's how I think the step works. So, like I said, I, ICS comes in different styles and different uh, forms. There's the ICS rod that um, is pretty much a long rod that feeds from the bottom of the fork and it goes all the way up and then it requires the star nut that you see here to be hit into the bar and then once it's hit into the bar like I said the bar will slide on to the fork actually and then um, the rod will go through the fork itself then screw into that star nut that's in the bars uh, and that's pretty much how how ICS works ICS compression, although, is not like other compressions. It's not meant to compress everything together. It's meant to hold it. So in, when you put ICS together, you slide the bars on, put as much force on the bars as you can to bottom them out onto the actual headset, um, and then you tighten up this bolt to hold everything together. It's not really meant to compress it together because in some cases the star nut might get pulled out of the bars. So with these, with this sample scooter that we're going to be demonstrating it, um, it already has a uh, star nut in there. It comes stock with one. Some bars do on the market like District and Ethic come with stock uh, star nuts in there. But the difference is District star nuts are much smaller than Ethic star nuts. Ethic Starnuts require this big ICS-10 bolt, so this is the other ICS bolt version that I was talking about, as well as, uh, well, versus this basic uh, ICS bolt that the district will use. Um, like I said, very few ICS uh, compression systems are using this long rod now, just because the long rod adds so much weight that's unnecessary that uh, most companies nowadays will have this small uh, bolt that feeds into the that feeds all the way in there and then uh, screws into that startup that's hidden to the bars um, and then usually you'll have a tool that's like this long which is a five millimeter allen key that can reach all the way into the fork um, so uh, like I said the ethic compression screw is much thicker than other compression compression ICS's on the mark other ICS compressions on the market so um, we're gonna be kind of going with this one throughout the video because this is what this complete is running. So like I said, Ethic Bars have this big ICS um, star nut, well, bolt with the star nut, and then Districts have the smaller one. So you definitely want to be careful when you're ordering, um, making sure that, one, that they're both compatible in terms of being the same size threads. So um, like I said, the way this one works is similar to the, uh, the district one is this bolt goes all the way down and feeds to the top of the bolt and um, to the top of the fork. The fork itself has a stopper right there that um, only has a hole with no threads. That's how you know it's for ICS. If it has threads then it's for another compression system which is most likely uh, SCS compression or HIC compression if the fork is suitable for both compressions. So um, that being said, we're going to go ahead and assemble this scooter to show you how ICS is assembled. Um, ICS, again, is a standard bar that slides onto a standard fork tube, um, but a fork that is compatible only with uh, ICS compression. So the bearings are already installed in this, this deck. This uh, fork in particular has a built-in crown race, so you don't need to hit one in or put one on, um, it's already there for you. So if you have a new headset or anything, you could just set that crown race to the side and use it for future uh, forks if, they, if a future fork that you get doesn't have one. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and uh, slide the fork through. 
Then we're going to go ahead and now slide the bars on, making sure the clamp is nice and loose so that the fork, I mean, so the bars can slide onto the fork with ease. In some cases, you might need to grease up the fork or the inside of the bar, but in this case, that doesn't have to be done. Then what you end up doing before you tighten up the clamp, you want to then grab your uh, ICS, ICS bolt and the big Allen key to pretty much tighten it up. And I mean, for the most part, ICS 10 is sort of the, comp the compression, uh, being that the Ethic bars have the built-in star nut, it's, it's not easy for them to pull out, so you can actually potentially use this bolt. It's kind of contradicting what I said earlier, um, where this bolt actually can compress everything together, being that this bolt is big enough. Uh, big enough being that it has, it's a thicker gauge, so it's a lot stronger than this bolt, and the star nut wasn't uh, hidden like this, it's more of uh, formed in there when it's, when it's made. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We just literally slide it in the inside of the fork and then literally just start tightening it up until it gets nice and tight, until it gets nice and tight, until it gets nice and tight, until it gets nice and tight. So after it's nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and uh, well, remove the actual uh, Allen key. This one's a little stuck, but it's not a big deal. I'm just pull it apart. All right. And then after we've tightened up the compression screw, we then have to remove the front axle and pop the wheel on. So whenever you do have to tighten up the front end of this uh, ICS compression scooter. You have to remove the wheel. It's kind of a hassle. Um, I mean, it, it, as long as you don't mind it, then I mean, it's a really great compression. It's really, really lightweight. It's one of the. It's pretty much the lightest compression system out in the market because you can get a clamp that's super light, and you're pretty much having the clamp only clamp the bars onto the actual fork itself. So then you just, like I said, you slide on the wheel. Uh, tighten up the wheel. So the wheel's tightened and then typically, I mean I'm not going to do this right now, but normally you'd line up the bars to the wheel, then you tighten up the clamp and then you're ready to ride. Um, that's pretty much how ICS compression works. Um, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think. Till next time.